If you feel a little tense, a little tight, and perhaps a little sore when you jump in the pool, it could be a good idea to do some dynamic stretches before you jump in. My name's Jacob Templeton, I'm a Paralympian swimmer from Australia, and in this short exercise video, I have some dynamic stretches for you that can be performed before you jump in the pool so that you feel a little more loose, perhaps a little less sore, and so that you can access a greater body position and pull through the water. So my first exercise or movement is some arm swings. You can open up the triceps, the chest, and just in general, by moving the arms forwards and backwards, you can loosen up, get some blood flow through the muscles that you'll be using while you swim. Now the second movement is leg swings. So you can do forward leg swings to open up the hamstrings and hip flexors, and then side to side as well. Make sure that you maintain some balance. And with all of these movements, try not to rush into it. You can start slow and build up and be a little more aggressive before you jump into the pool. But the idea with dynamic stretches is for these to be performed before you jump in. Hold off for the more traditional long holding static stretches for after your workout when you're extremely warm and so that you can get those improvements in mobility. Now the third exercise is cat camel or cat cow if you like. You can work on loosening up the spine by rounding and then extending so that you gaze up to the sky to work on that flexion and extension of the spine. This is particularly important for strokes such as breaststroke and butterfly where you need that element of lift to breathe. The next movement is a thoracic spine rotation. So you can do this in many positions, but see here how I'm keeping the lower half of my body as still as possible. Trying to get that rotation through the upper part of the spine and getting those shoulders rotating so that one shoulder and the arm is pointing to the sky while the other one is pointing towards the ground to really open up. This is particularly important for the strokes freestyle and backstroke. The next sequence is a yoga sequence. Now there's many moves with yoga, as we all know, but there are a couple here which I have, such as the downward dog and the child pose, to help open up the lats, remember not to hold for too long, and just to try and get that combined elevation overhead, as well as opening up through the lats and making sure that they're ready, rather than being rigid and tight when you jump into the pool. Now the final movement opens up the hamstrings, so straighter legs will get more of a stretch down that posterior chain, but never rush into any of these and make sure you start slowly. Always be mindful of any previous injuries you might have had. Now for any more information, head to my website, shoot me a message, I'd love to help. Cheers.